Hey everybody, it's almost 11, and welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green. Last time we beat Brock, we evolved Squirt, a lot happened. Just, I'm gonna misclick the buttons here. A whole lot happened. And now, in this episode, we are entering Mount Moon. Now, something I found out, and Gavin and I found this out recently together, is that there is actually, because the Mount Moon, Mount Moon, oh god, oh god, I knew this was going to come eventually. I'm not even catching it, I don't care about the Pokedex right now, I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it. That is my least favorite Pokemon in existence. It legitimately makes me want to throw up when I see it. Team 09 Bullet Seed. But apparently the Mount Moon music will reset every time you get into a battle. So you never really hear it the whole way through, but apparently later on in the song it's really creepy. And uh, I've listened to it. it, it really does. It actually scares me a little bit to an extent. I mean, obviously not like I'm going to have nightmares, but to in a way where it's like, eh, well, this is creepy. I don't want to be here very long. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. So yeah, we're here in Mount Moon, the first real dungeon of a Pokemon game. So that's always different. There we go, we're getting to Nozo up some levels. You got me. And we really did this for an item. Well, here's a new Pokemon. I will catch this. If I don't kill it on accident. Hopefully ten levels different. This won't kill it. Okay, perfect. Here we go. One, two, three, and got it. And now Dorkly Bits has given me the perfect name for this. He is. He is the one and only. Zubatman. Paralyze heal. Oh look, it's another Zoo Batman. Or right, this one's a Zoo Bat Girl. Wow, not even two full steps before another Zoo Bat. I also remember this brings like a, a memory from the anime of how much of a a jerk Brock was to an extent because it was like Ash was like my journey is to catch all the Pokemon oh look a Zubat that's a Pokemon I don't have I should catch one and Brock was like Ash you shouldn't take it from here because it doesn't work because it'll hurt it to be outside in the light that's why it lives in the dark then Brock catches one he's like I could not catch one it's like wow wow Brock it's a real double standard there buddy Yeah, there are some new Pokemon we'll be able to catch inside of Mount Moon here as well. So, as you saw, Zubat was one. Clefairy is a really bulky Pokemon because it has a lot of ex HP. But the more HP a Pokemon has, the more experience points it's going to be rewarded. Iris. <laughs> it's one of my favorite of the Pokemon characters that you'll meet in future games. That's not what we're looking for. Yeah, I knew I saw an item down here. Oh, Geodude. Or Geo Female. So Geodude. 
And that's going to be the nickname. I'll just go ahead and try and catch it with this HP, because why not? There you go, we got another one. See, the more Pokemon we register to our... Like I said, the more Pokemon we put in the Pokedex... The better, because we can get better items. Yeah, now it's Geodude at. Oh. What? Don't sneak up on me. Super nerd. Magnemite. Oops. Well, we have entered a bad situation for Denozo. That's quad effective against Denozo. So here we go. Oh, Squirt, please survive. Wow. Critical hit, really? Crap. I don't know why, but I thought I'd be able to survive that. That was very unlucky. That was about as unlucky as the uh, gym battle I just had on the Pixelmon server I play on. I misclicked. I had Scald on one of my Pokemon because it was a rock gym. And Scald is really, really good, damage-wise. And then I accidentally clicked on Water Gun, which does half the damage of Scald. So their Pokemon was left with like 3 HP. So they beat me that way. Because they were able to get off some status moves. They started with a Shuckle, which is a setup Pokemon. So I'm prepared for tomorrow. I'm re-challenging them when I wake up. I decided I'd just play some... Uh, Leaf green tonight. Try and get my mind off of that. But hey. Squirt feigning was a blessing in disguise because Dinozo's evolving. And now Dinozo... Is a Pidgeotto. Potion. Well, if that was a revive, that'd be a little bit better for me right now. Given we're trying to get back to the Pokemon Center. Zubat, go away. The back sprite for Pidgeotto has not changed in years, Pokemon game wise, because I think I'm Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver. Ew, 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 ew. Oh, I don't want to, but I'm doing it anyway. Oh, I'm having to force myself to do this. Oh, this hurts. I don't want to. I don't want to. Ew. Leave me alone. This is it. This is the last one you get. If you break out, I'm done. Gross. It's so gross. Ew. Only thing that's good about Paris is it can learn a lot of HM moves. Or at least it learns Flash and Cut, which are two that you need. And now we'll just... Eh. Just, uh, deposit all these Pokemon that we've caught. And hey, we, we've, uh, registered a lot of Pokemon to the Pokedex now. So that's good, at least.
We have made no progress in Mount Moon, though. Blame that on the sheer number of encounters we've got going on. I, I should have bought some repels. But there's so many Pokemon we need to catch in here as well. And there's just a handful of Pokemon we gotta get to uh, fill out more of the Pokedex. I'm not going to do every battle from here on out, trainer-wise. Or at least if I do them, they won't be on screen. That way, it lets you guys kind of not have to watch the same thing over and over. I can actually try and make progress in the game as well. Either way, Geodude just went down. Whoops. I swear I didn't do that on purpose. That was... I'm using a control stick rather than a D-pad, which I should start using the D-pad on this. But I'm on the GameCube, so it's just, it's not something that I'm used to, using the D-pad on the game, on the GameCube. But I'm using it now, so I hope you're all happy. Oh my god. More Zubats, man. More Zubats. Oh my god, more Zubats. I said it before it even appeared. That's the best part. It's like I knew. Moonstone. There we go. And another Zubat! Hooray! Not the Pokemon I'm looking for at all. There are two more Pokemon we can get in Mount Moon. And we have not seen either of them. Little kids shouldn't be messing around with grown-ups. It could be bad news and illegal. Wow, I went there. Team Rocket Grunt. Here we go, water gun. Okay, Hyper Fang. Oh, never mind, it didn't do anything. Santru, that's always a fun one to battle. And now Santru is going down. And Squirt levels up to 17. We're trying to catch Squirt back up with uh, Dinozo after that. I'm steamed. Another Geodude. At this point, I'm just taking out the Geodudes with Squirt because he can one-shot them no problem. So I might as well. And a Zubat. Let me guess another Zubat, or is it going to be a Geodude? It's a Zubat. Good lord, help me. And another Zubat. And let me guess, another one? Yep. We are almost at 15 minutes in this video, and I've pretty much just done nothing but run into Zubats this video. We, Team Rocket, shall find the fossils. Reviving Pokemon from them will earn us huge riches. Hurrah! 
did that. And there we go. Oh, thought we had it. No, we did not, though. There we go. Another Zubat! Yay! Almost got him. And we got him. We're good. We're good. I sound so unenthused because I am at this point. I mean, you keep battling the same Pokemon over and over again. And there's only two more that you could get. Hey, stop! Found these fossils, they're both mine. Super Nerd, again. Grimer! Oh, you're just gonna get met with a water gun. And you messed up. 